Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. I work with senior and emerging leaders in organizations really to help them understand their leadership style, understand them how they can be better leaders. And let me be clear on that. That is determined by them. That is determined by them to decide where they want to grow their leadership skill sets. For some, it's around their communication styles, how they behave and communicate with others around them. For others, it's how do I manage my time, organize myself better. It could be project related or just in general. And when I'm sitting down initially with a potential client, we'll talk about some of those things that are important to them where they see some of their challenges, where they see their strengths, but also their challenges. I'll also sit down often with their manager, the person that supervises them, manages them. It could be the CEO of the organization, or it could be a board that uh, supervises that leader in the organization. And I ask them the same question, where do you see their strengths and where do you see their challenges? And where do you see you, you would like to see some improvement in their leadership skill sets? I will then often sit down with their direct reports and either do a interview 360 degree interview where I sit down one on one with them and ask again, where do you see their strengths and where do you see their challenges? Where do you see some of the things you'd like to see them improve? What are some of the things you'd like them to see them keep doing? And what are some of the things you'd like them to stop doing? And then also the same thing, um, I'll, I'll do that with all of the direct reports and put together a document of themes and ideas that I heard that I'll then present to that leader. And to kick things off, off they will then do a triad meeting between the leader, that leader, the person that the leader reports to, and myself where we'll outline where some of those challenges are, where those strengths are, where they'd like the direction of the coaching. Now, if there's a good sized group, I'll often use a online 360 degree assessment, something like the uh, LPI 360 that comes out of the work of Cousins and Parsons and the Leadership Challenge. Because I love the fact that there's really only 30 questions. It measures five uh, be practices or behavioral practices that leaders demonstrate that Cousins and Parsons have identified as five key areas. And in fact, their book, The Leadership Challenge, which is where I want to go with over the next few weeks, outlines those five practices. And <clears throat> again, one of the reasons I love this is the research, the ton of research that's being done into this, the interviews with hundreds of thousands of leaders and hundreds of thousands of other people that those leaders report to, to come up with five definitive, what they call uh, the five practices that make, uh, that, that make extraordinary leaders or what it makes extraordinary leadership happen in organizations. And those five practices are modeling the way inspiring a shared vision, challenging the process, enabling others to act, and encouraging the heart. And I want to explore those over the next several weeks. And again, my thinking on it, my interpretation on it. So that's where we're going. So I hope you'll join me on this journey. So thank you very much for watching this week. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great week.